London's theatre district is one of the most prestigious in the world and has just celebrated its most successful year. And there's barely a billboard in sight without a celebrity name staring back at you. So if director Jonathan Miller is right and the West End is celebrity obsessed, it's certainly leaving box offices dreaming a dream. Last year, audiences spent half a billion pounds in the West End. But are they getting value for money for £60 a ticket? Are they getting famous names or real talent? The West End needs well-known names. The West End thrives on celebrity. The, that's what the West End is all about. It's about red carpets. It's about names above the marquee. Is it the type of celebrity that's changed then, do you think? The oh, kind of celebrity? Oh yeah, absolutely. That's, that's changed a lot because uh, we're, we're seeing people on television and then the, the, the audience feels very often that they actually own those people because they voted for them. Reality TV does now dominate theatre whether it be the presenters of those shows in rather unlikely roles, contestants made famous from singing and skating shows, or those who made their name in reality fly on the wall. Yes, that is the 22-year-old star of the Osbournes, Kelly Osborne, playing 40-year-old Mama Morton in Chicago. And of course we have all the winners and rejects of theatre talent shows. It's no longer a wonderful wizard that casting agents are finding over the rainbow. Neve Perry came fourth in I'd Do Anything and now stars in Love Never Dies. Would you have got the job in Love Never Dies if you hadn't have come from a TV show? Probably not. I, I probably wouldn't be in Love Never Dies if it wasn't for the TV show. Obviously, I worked with Andrew on the TV show and that's kind of how I, I've come about to be in Love Never Dies. But I'd like to think I had the talent to back it up that if I had have gone down the training route and gone to stage school that I'd still be in the West End. Can a big show work though without a famous cast? It depends on the piece. If the piece is strong enough, that's the most important thing. Um, and the talent on stage, it doesn't matter whether people are of a celebrity status at all. Could Neve, the reality star, actually have a more accurate view of the West End than established director Jonathan Miller? That talent is more important than celebrity? Although the rise in reality TV has made us all celebrity obsessed, there have been countless hit shows which don't have any famous names. Mary Poppins ran for over three years with an unknown cast. Jersey Boys continues to sell in its third year with no well-known faces. Eleven years on, The Lion King still has no celebrity cast members, although they do all wear masks. And the most recent hit show to not feature any well-known names is a revival of Hair, which opened to rave reviews earlier this year. Do its audience members care that there's no one famous on stage? No, I don't think so. When we're talking about theatre, I don't think so. It's quite fun to see some um, unfamous faces in a really talented show. No, no not absolutely not. Um, yeah, it's always about the show. It's not about who's in it. It's about the quality of the show. So is the West End celebrity obsessed? Maybe just a little. But with plenty of successful productions without big film or reality stars to choose from, maybe theatres don't need that big celebrity name to put bums on seats. For heaven's sake, no one tell Whoopi. <laughs>